everybody. Uh, welcome to the July edition of the Hintonburg Public House Beer Club. We have four fun brews for you today. Um, I've got my partner Dan here tasting with me again. Um, soon we'll start inviting other people. What? But, uh, well, once we get double vaxxed, we'll be, other people will be able to be in the shots. Are you firing me? No. Okay. <laughs> They'll just, we'll have to share the beer with <laughs> maybe one or two other people. That's all. Ooh. Sounds fun. Okay. Um, but yeah. So today we have um, a few of my go-tos and um, a new beer for me and a, a special flash series from one of the other breweries. So let's start with um, Local Lager. So this is um, a go-to for us for uh, summer beers, patio beers. I mean, it's great all year round, but um, there. Local. Uh, it's local. Not so much. <laughs> oh, you're right. Not okay. too much. There we go. Um, <laughs> but I just, it's just such a strong beer. I thought it needs to be part of the club. It needs to be represented. And uh, yeah. if you've had it before, here you just get to try it again. Um, it's just a simple, solid, well-made beer. Mm -hmm. Nothing weird and wacky. Um. Oh God, that tastes like beer. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So local the lager. Tannins. What? What? I don't know. I'm not sure I understand. Anyways, so good. this is uh, they've just launched a second beer, or not just launched. They launched recently a second beer, local lager light. Um, it's also very very good. They only just do lighter. Two beers. They only do two beers. Really? But, oh. so when I was trying to decide, it was trying to decide between this and Brown Van Kolsch to share with you as a, as a summer choice of local beers. And when I was looking that it, them up, I was trying to look up Brown Van, I realized that Local Lager actually owns them now. So they own the brewer, they own the, uh, the rights to the beer, and uh, so that was kind of interesting. So we went with. I didn't know that. Yeah, really? I didn't know that either. That's yeah. Huge. So they bought it. Uh, the exchange was, I don't know, so a local year or two ago. Owns Brown Van. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, and if you haven't had Brown Van yet, be sure to try it out. It's delicious. This is Super really fresh. good, by yeah. the way. It's like yeah. just solid all the way through, tight flavor, really good, delicious beer. I actually and I like love this. the can. Like it's just so simple. Oh, Everything about it simplicity. is just not complicated, but well made. So, mm. yeah. And the owners are really nice too, as most beer owners are. <laughs> all beer owners. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't met one that I don't like. We so. love all of you. <laughs> true yeah. story. True story. Okay, so. This this here. What's that? Is there a unicorn on this? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Daniel, there is. <laughs> so it's from Nita Brewery. There's a unicorn on that. In Ottawa as well. Um, this is my favorite beer that they make. I love it. It's uh, a Brute, sorry, bug, um, Brute IPA. <gasps> and uh, yeah, it just has this like spritzy kind of champagne feel to it. It's, it, so. it has a magical. Read, read the bottom. Look at the bottom, there's a magical <laughs> mark on that. Their rating system's funny. You so, might have also seen the 6.1. Giddy up. <laughs> Ooh, it is. It's a strong beer. Mm -hmm. So this one, so they, I love how they have this. So fun, anytime, magical, and extreme. This one's the, one of the magicals. So. I'm into it. Sounds fun. I already know I love this beer. Oh, wait. So. You have beer in your glass. Ooh. I'm just going to do this. Not anymore. You. <laughs> do you want... Thank you. So, yeah, yum. That's so a, like bubbly. It's a major switch up from very clean, ready to go lager, crushable, delicious, wonderful, into I'm not sure what this is, but there's a unicorn on it. <laughs> Everyone loves Ooh, unicorns. It smells nice. Mm -hmm. it has a wonderful nose. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. So here's what it says. So like a Brut Champagne, a Brut IPA is very dry. The hops uh, in Bijou provide a super super tropical aromas and flavors, um, unfiltered yet bright. It's such a mis mystically delicious 
concoction be real? Yep. It's magically delicious. Bijou, yeah. Bijou, Bijou is light, light bodied and effervescent. Purely mm. magical. I feel that dryness. Like though. it. When you yeah. have a sip, it's like dry right away. Your mouth away. just goes, and you just have to have another sip. And then you can see how that, it can become a magical evening. <laughs> you can see how I'm getting home on a unicorn. Oh, I'm home. I mean, anywhere yeah. after this beer. It's good. Yeah, I can see this being really nice. It really tightens up um, your buds. Yeah, um, yeah. at uh, brunch. Perfect brunch beer. Mm. This with eggs. Mm. Yeah. That's a, a long brunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's got a, an interesting flavor, too. It's not like a straight up like beer in your face flavor. It's it's got a weird back end of flavor. It's quite nice because it's like like you had said earlier, you have it, it tightens up your things, and then all of a sudden you're like, I want more. That's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Yeah, drinks like a sparkling wine, but hoppy. Yeah. Sparkling wine, really? Yeah, well, that has that same sort of effervescence, like that same. You don't really drink sparkling. I no, not a wine. But I've tried wine. It's good. This is really good. Yeah, I like this one. I like this. Yeah, I'm excited to drink that uh, maybe tomorrow. I love the can. Tomorrow for brunch. <laughs> I just crushed that. Did you see that? Yeah, you did. It was delicious. So the next one is from Beyond the Pale. It's part mm. of their Flash series. So they've been doing a Flash series. They put one out every, how often do they do it? Like every month or so? Not enough? <laughs> Not enough? I don't know how often. Uh. Often enough. And this one's called Take Off, eh? And Dan and I were going to put the uh, Bob and Doug record on and get dressed up and... Look at that. And then I forgot. Yeah. So Look at that there, guy. Oh, yeah. That's good, bud. <laughs> so I'll just talk like them I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Oh, yeah. Look at all that information. We don't care about that information. God, I have to say, just because I can Beyond the Pale, absolutely one of my favorites, hands down, because their magical hop magic that they use, the hops and how they how they work their hops into certain beers, <gasps> they know what they're doing. Good beer. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, after this unicorn beer, that's going to be a <laughs> tough call. Time for their money today. Yeah. You need more unicorns on your beer, Beyond the Pale. <laughs> All right. I'm doing it. Ooh, gorgeous color, gorgeous color. Ooh, it's hazy, yeah. I like that. What is this? So what? it's 5%, it's an IPA. Um, Look at how meow that is. Not biased, yes I am. Look at how meow that is. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. I don't so, know if we're gonna be able to make it to the last mm. beer after this. You haven't even had a sip yet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Whoa. No, nah, no, I don't like it. Oh, God, what the <laughs> hell's wrong with you guys? No, it's well, just really... It's, yeah, it's really fresh. Smooth. Pineapple-y? It's always fresh. It Every might, time I you have even... a Beyond the Pale beer, it's like, oh, we added some meh, 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 and you're like, holy meh, 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 this is so good. Yeah, so I had notes. I'm very unprepared right now. I'm 100%. It's been a busy week. Always and, unprepared. Uh, so beer club participants, read the notes. Um, oh, my God. People are not... getting this beer? Yeah, this is, this is part of it. This is why Lucky we're doing you. this, honey. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is delicious. Yeah, so it's limited at the brewery right now. Um, it's part of their, like I said, their flash series, so it's, it's limited. So get there soon before they sell out. Um, cause they, they don't usually do very large batches from what I understand. Well, they, for their, throughout the flash series in the past year, I'd say, it was always COVID related. Mm, right. Or, or similar it. to COVID related things. And I actually thought this was like a COVID-related thing because this take off, eh? In yeah. Canada, we're like, get 
It's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. You know, you know when it's time to go. Yeah. You've just been there for too long. Yeah. COVID, this That's is your I time. That's how I took it. Yeah. It was explained to me much different. Oh, really? Yeah, and I don't, I couldn't tell you the whole story right now because I don't remember. Well, that's But it's a um, one story. of the people <laughs> who actually created this beer. She works for um, Beyond the Pale, and she was able to create this beer. She does a lot of the Women's Day beers and like some of the other fun, festive beers. And her skills are getting so good. Like she's actually creating the beer and making the beer at the same time. Uh, her name is Sarah. She also has a skateboard that's up at Beyond the Pale right now for the Ooh. skateboard show. Which one is her skateboard? I'm going to push that because that starts on July 9th. The auction starts. Um, and I curated that. And there's a lot of beautiful, beautiful work. But her skateboard is the hand-knit one Ooh, that has like the, the little, little gnomes. The little gnomes. Yeah. A couple yes. of years ago, we got uh, Dan bought or mm -hmm. bid on one of her pieces and it's it's in one it's in our house it's uh what is it it's like an underwater theme it's got seahorses and fish and it's all like 3d the crocheted all over the thing with oh the my cutest gosh, little so eyeball cute. i'm like oh yeah oh anyways yeah fantastic she's so. amazing amazing big shout outs to you beyond the pale and Huge shout outs to you, Sarah, for making such a lovely beer. Yeah, this one's really nice. It's it's I'm almost not like it yet. no. I'm still trying. But it's like pineapple. Um, mm, I don't know, tropic, tropical in your mouth. It's like all those deliciousness. But it's got like a little bit of like almost like black licorice. Like my mouth before I like right now, I taste like I taste black licorice or something Ooh. like that. I don't oh, know yeah. what that is, but I like it. I feel that. But not black licorice. Like more like a sweet, uh, some, uh, what is it called? Don't say cilantro. I it's will not. <laughs> throw all these beers off the table. It's not cilantro. What is it called? Sweet Sicily. <laughs> That's what it's called. If you've ever had sweet Sicily, they, it's a herb and they get these little um, seeds on them and you can eat them and they taste like, basi it's basically, they're like, it tastes like black jube jubes, um, which are my favorite. Um, but it's actually a plant so and like good for licorice? you. So it's like licorice. Yeah, it's so good. It's called Sweet Sicily, and it has a pretty fern-like leaf. I'm a red licorice. Anyway, <laughs> totally off topic. Um, but mm -hmm. back to the skateboard deck at Beyond the Pale. It's called All Hands on Deck, and mm -hmm. you can view them all on their website. So check it out. Is the When is the bidding live, did you say? So the bidding starts on July okay. 9th. July 9th. That's when the actual so auction goes live. It will be up for a month this year. Uh, usually it's one day. But today it's one month, and every other time, there's been a ton of decks and like hundreds, lots like and literally lots. hundreds of decks. And this one, it's like a select yeah. like 30 and hundreds or of artists. thirty or forty decks. Thank you all so very much for that. By the way, you are all amazing for yeah, everybody's help really on nice. all the things. But yeah, this year there's thirty two. COVID can't have a lot of people going in there. I mean, at the time, I couldn't have two hundred people coming and going. To pick up the decks, decks. yeah, that would have been dropping messy. Dropping off decks, and so I picked thirty-two of my local favorites. Don't think you're not my favorite, because I also have like thirty-two other favorites in Ottawa, <laughs> and you <laughs> are one of them. Yeah. Just don't get mad, because it's there, and it looks good. And the auction starts July. So night. even the bugs like this beer. Top notch work. Little beer bug in there. Where? I just fucked it out. You didn't drink them? No. Oh. That's like the tequila worm. <laughs> like but a, he, it looked Canadian like he uh, enjoyed it because he was like belly up. <laughs> when you drink that Canadian mosquito, oh damn. Yeah, that one's a good one. Okay, and then the last one, back to the beer, sorry. I forgot we were recording actually. <laughs> I know, I, I, keep trying to, I keep trying to drink um, it. Wizard of Gosa, mm. Pink Guava Gosa. That's what this is from Bandit in Toronto. I've not had anything from Bandit. I hadn't had not had anything from Bandit before, and I follow these? them on Instagram. It's very and interesting. all of their beers looked um, look amazing. Like they pour it, and it just Nothing so thick back. and delicious. And um, yeah, so I had to get something in, and I finally finally did. And you're gonna it's like a guava. This one. Yeah. 
I don't even like guava. guava. I actually don't right? like guava. And I love this. Is that right? Yep. Guava? Yes. Okay. Ooh, I usually up. say Ghana or the Bapu. And I don't mean to say that what ever. What does that even mean? Here, Trust me, it sounds Ghana? the same. It sounds the same. Sorry, I'm just going to rinse Guano. it out because it's too uh, hoppy, this one. This is hoppy? Mm -mm. Oh, the last one. Oh, actually, maybe I didn't even need oh, to rinse it. Oh, because the Flash series has, like, flashness in your face. It was very, it was hoppy, and I didn't want it to mix, but you wouldn't note it. You wouldn't know it. I forgot. So here's the thing. That is delicious. Usually when we turn the camera off, try it. I get to go back in time and be like, try this, and then this, and then this, and then this. Mm -hmm. So I go backwards sometimes. Always so good. But when I get to here, it's usually, like, bedtime. So, take a sip. It's going to blow your taste buds right up. Hold on, let me do this. I have to pour more in here. <laughs> Why? Because I want them to see. Oh. Look it's, at how gorgeous yeah, that is. It really is. Oh, it's so nice. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's not as... So, the Flash series had like a darker kind of thing. This has more of like a lighter... The lighting's kind of crap because this is a phone, but wow, this just looks gorgeous. Wait till you take a sip. Your mouth is going to be like, ooh. More than a unicorn? Yeah, it's like riding a unicorn through a meadow and then doing a cartwheel. Well, maybe they need a unicorn on there. Well, no, but I love that it's Holy wearing crap. a hat. I know, it's so good. I said it's crap. Like, Sorry. It's just so fresh. It's it's almost like a cocktail, like this a beer cocktail. Really good. It's not sweet. It's super well balanced. That's not sweet. I don't find it sweet. I find you it find a little it sweet? sour. Sourness. It's sour for sure. It's, it's a gosa. A, yeah, well, you it's know what? It's a gosa. What? So gosas are generally sour. <sighs> Let's talk about sours for a second. They're and that I was call them right and there. generally entry level sours. And Dan doesn't like sours generally. Um, but I find like this one, it's not good. like weird sour. It's not. It's not all bread all over your face. It's. Uh, it's just really fresh and tart, more than a sour. Do you agree? I didn't even realize it was a sour. It is quite good. Sours. <laughs> I freaking hate sours. Oh, this you're is they're growing phenomenal. on you. I, them, they keep pushing them on on them, and he's. She does. He's. She does. Uh, he's learning to love them. Learning slowly. It's that sweet, tarty in your mouth. But this is actually really nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. I like this. And I like that they have a raccoon on there. Did I show you that? Let's look at that again. Yeah, so they're out of Toronto. Good call. They have, um, follow them on Instagram. Like, you'll just want to order everything like I do. I, they deliver to Ottawa, usually I think like once a month. They deliver so and if you get on their mailing list um they'll email you with their current list and when the delivery date is so you can get it delivered to your door i think um which is kind of cool holy crap that is really good mm -hmm. it's like taking a bag of sour kids and putting them in something that would be this like a beer i don't know how to explain that yeah so maybe not sour kids it is kind of like a bag of sour, sour kids, kids would probably kill an adult <laughs> uh, probably would. I was just up at the um, uh, the the what is it called? Store. The, the pasta shop at the corner of Melrose and Wellington Street, mm. and at their cash, they have all sorts of candies, and one of them was those sweet red berries. <laughs> it took everything in me not to get take that home. You didn't bring any everything home? in me, but I can't. I've not stopped. Clearly, not stopped thinking about it. So. I'm going to be going back there the next time. Oh, yeah, uh, she is. Tomorrow? <laughs> yes, I know. But they had all sorts of candies and, and a really good sandwich. I went you're in there to get a sandwich tomorrow. the next, well. Shall we tell them what tomorrow is? Tomorrow's Canada Day, so we're not going there tomorrow, but. Uh, tomorrow's Canada Day. I'll, I'll go there another day. But I had the best sandwich there, too. So if you've not been and you live in the neighborhood or if you're driving through the neighborhood, mm. be sure to stop there. Really nice cheeses and, and pasta, like. Delicious pastas we've had. Tortellinis from there and cannelloni. Should really we talk good. about Canada today? Is that a thing? I don't know. What's to talk about? Well, we I was just downtown today. Are... And I'll be honest. It's like 
dead quiet. Yeah. There's all kinds of quietness. We're, we're not doing There's anything not a lot at the of restaurant. Tourism going on. We're not doing anything really at the restaurant. Dan's going to be there live painting. We're doing a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Um, playing some records and uh, so some records. yeah so basically we have a raffle going if you want to buy raffle tickets uh, for the painting that will be painted tomorrow hopefully it'll be okay <laughs> hopefully it looks good if not he'll <laughs> tape it and fix it as long as I didn't um, get into too many well, of these yeah so I have these. a feeling that some of these might come his favorites from this might end up on the tape on his painting table and Maybe I'll anyway. show up with it pre-painted and be like, ooh, <laughs> look at this. No. Um, so, yeah, on our Facebook, we're taking, uh, we we asked for suggestions, so we'll see what he comes up with. I don't know. Right now, it's paint, the background's painted blue. So. It's blue. A um, nice blue. It's a yeah. Argo blue. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, tickets are uh, five dollars for one ticket, three dollar, uh, three, uh, three for ten. 10 tickets for $20 um, and 50% of the sale those sales are going to the um, to a local a local uh, center so yeah hmm. to pay some respects and I don't know there's uh, we're, it's not there's not really much to celebrate with everything um, I mean everybody knew all of this stuff was going on but I think it's just the day that we all just sort of pay respects and and uh, that's what the nation needs to do. And we, just, we need to do better. We need to, the government needs to look into all of these things closer. And we need to fix all of the, the issues that are happening on our, uh, on the native reserves and that sort of thing. Are you okay? Oh my God, you have the hiccups. I think I drank oh my that gosh. one and then that one way too um, fast. Anyway, sorry everyone. This I became a political thing, and it didn't mean to. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not proud of my country right now, and well, it's upsetting. You know what? Let's be honest. It's not country right now. It's country before. Before always, and, uh, and but we need to do we better. We can talk about religion. We can, but let's we can not move. No, ever we're gonna move forward, and religion. we need just need to do better. That's what we need to do. And yeah, just be aware, and be. Help. I, I hiccuped again. And just be helpful to people that need help. All across the nation, everybody should help everybody. No more of this, like, not helping. Uh, I keep hiccuping. I'm so sorry. Anyways, Canada's tender day tomorrow will be a COVID Canada day. They don't want 7,100 people on the hill breathing on each other. Especially hiccupers. No. Anyways, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So these were the ch these were my choices for this month. I hope you like them. Um, not many people have given me feedback. If you like what we're offering, let me know. If you don't like, if we have too many, whatevers, then let me know. Or if you if I talk too long. Just <laughs> I, 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 we can't help that. Look at that. There's a little spider crawling up the... Uh, it was just on camera there. Anyway. Um, we're this is one hell of a selection, though. Yeah, it's just... I said hell. So, one of my favorites right here. Great summer beer. Also a favorite. A fun new brew from Beyond the Pale. And then a new brew. A new-to-me brew, which I always love. I like to make sure that I get new thing and we're not getting as many breweries this coming through with samples because we've been closed so um yeah so it's really just been me searching online so if you have any suggestions let me know um this is almost like a palate cleanser yeah once you put it in say. there it's like whew, let's it cleans go. it and then it's like next yeah yeah that's next why sip. there's a unicorn on it <laughs> now i understand <laughs> yeah because you could like it, it really like brunch think brunch for this one for sure back patio get it while you can and this one is just like it's like a beer cocktail perfect for yeah. a patio as well great summertime beer anyway uh do you have, i yeah. usually only get hiccups when i have spicy food but that one I'm gonna go make him do a handstand now to get rid of these pick hiccups. I don't want a handstand. 
<laughs> I can't even I'll record there. it and post it somewhere else. So uh, if you follow me anywhere else, there's going to be a funny post coming up. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. I hope you have a great day. Thank you, everybody. Cheers. Take care.